Ebenezer, Akwaba, and welcome to this edition of Ishapo, where we bring you news concerning Rwanda and updates on the activities of the Rwanda High Commission in its diplomatic jurisdiction including Ghana, Benin, Côte d'Ivoire, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Togo. The High Commission was established as the first resident High Commission in Ghana in 2020 and in spite of the COVID challenge, was able to forge forward to some tangible results thanks to the visionary leadership and excellent relationship between our leaders, His Excellency Paul Kagame and his counterparts, not forgetting the warm relationship between the other various partners, including government, private sector, and civil society. Since then, the High Commission team, in partnership with both Rwandan government institutions and the government, private sector, civil society, and institutions in the countries under jurisdiction have been able to focus on three areas and made the following achievements. 1. A partnership in business and trade. Rwanda and Ghana are among the first few countries on the continent to have started trading under the AFCFTA Ghana Trade Initiative. And today, the following Rwandan products are available on the Ghanaian market. Akabanga hot chili oil, organic pyrethrum pesticide, Rwandan coffee and Rwandan tea to mention but a few. This is to say that the guided tour has opened business and trade opportunities for both countries. Institutions that support this mechanism have also signed the various MOUs and reviewed other relevant documents and this includes the two national parliaments, the two ministries of trade, the Rwanda Development Board RDB and the Ministry of Tourism, the Central Banks of Rwanda and Ghana, the National Cyber Security Authorities, and the Food and Drugs Authorities and Standards Board. The High Commission also appreciates the continued cordial and warm relationship showcased by the high level of participation of the Rwanda community in our jurisdictions and our host countries in all its various activities and events ranging from the National Day Celebration in Kubohora 28 to Umuganda. Heroes Day, to Umuganura, and of course the trade mission. Over 40 Rwandans came to Ghana in October 2022 for the trade mission, following another 40 which came the preceding year, and plans are in place for a return mission which would have Ghanaian businesses visit Rwanda for the same purpose. Key outputs were increasing the trade volumes for intra-African business, value addition, and cross-learning. Rwanda also celebrates the excellent leadership of our government in the sense that coming out of COVID, Ghana, Rwanda and Senegal have partnered and launched the joint vaccine manufacturing plant to strengthen the continent's resolve towards health security and prosperity. And in June last year, a delegation of over 150 private sector and public officials from Ghana and Sierra Leone were led by His Excellency Nana Kufuado and His Excellency Julius Madabio to participate in Chogum 2022 and the Maiden Commod Business Forum held in Kigali. Since then, we have continued to work with them to explore ways in which we can invest and do more business together. Out of the Youth Connect Africa Summit held in Ghana in 2021 and the follow-up in Kigali last year, we do have a number of youth cooperatives and entrepreneurs such as Algorithm, Tap and Go, an IT consortium who have partnered in the space of IT agriculture, fashion and logistics and are now doing business between Ghana and Rwanda and we plan to expand the circle to include the other countries under jurisdiction. And two, a partnership in education. In the area of education, we are glad to note the increased collaboration and partnership between our main universities, University of Rwanda, Carnegie Mellon University Africa Campus, African Leadership University, Coventry University Africa Hub, and others in the jurisdiction, including the University of Ghana, Ashesi University, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, among others. Around 50% of the Rwandan community in Ghana are students, and this represents a lot of potential for cross-learning. To this end, there have been some working visits between educational institutions in both countries to explore academic collaborations. And three, our partnership in tourism. There has been a continued enhancement of travel and tour significantly by over 30%, which already has encouraged Rwanda Air to increase its number of flights to five per week and hopefully daily in the coming months. 
agricultural exchange, it is worth noting that in line with the strong Pan-African spirit of Rwanda, the 2022 edition of the Grow Unite Build Africa Global Awards was held in Kigali to celebrate Pan-African excellence and innovation. As well, Rwandan chefs also participated in a culinary expo dubbed the West African Food Festival 2022, which was hosted by the Chefs Association of Ghana in Accra to showcase the national cuisine of all invited countries. It was a splendid opportunity to dress, eat, dance and enjoy the rich culture of Ghana and Rwanda. Now, regional security. It is worth noting that on the 4th of July 2022, His Excellency Paul Kigami conferred Rwanda's National Order of Bravery on two retired Ghanaian generals for their selfless service during the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. These are Major General Henry Kwame Anidoko and Major General Joseph Na Adinkra. They were accompanied to the award ceremony by senior officials of the Ghana Armed Forces. Rwanda was also invited to share its foreign policy on Africa's regional integration and security through a lecture at the Pan-African Ghana Armed Forces Senior Command and Staff College to a graduating class of over 40 military officials from close to 20 African countries. Rwanda and Ghana are among the major countries on the continent collaborating on the global peace and security agenda and remain committed to sharing best practices in promoting peace and security for all African countries. And on remembrance. Last year in Ghana, as we remembered and honored the memory of our loved ones that were lost in the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi, we do appreciate that we were with our two ministers of foreign affairs, the chief of defense staff of the Ghana Armed Forces and other senior officials of the Ghanaian military, heads of agencies, the diplomatic corps, and retired General Anidoho, not forgetting that at the right moment, he was acknowledged for his crucial role in preserving countless lives. Kwibuka 28 also served as a platform to make a strong call for all to fight against genocide ideology and its denial. Rwandan communities in Benin and Cote d'Ivoire similarly observed Kwibuka 28 in their respective countries. And so moving forward, we are confident that with the COVID pandemic being less restrictive, we are going to continue along the same line to make it easier for people to travel, access education, on-the-job training, trade, add value to our products, and make it safer for people to connect and do business within the countries and the jurisdiction. And so on this note, we'd like to thank you for watching Ijabo. Kindly connect with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Rwanda in Ghana. And please, do share this with your network. Until next time, it's bye for now.